Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Three equal inextensible strings of negligible weight are knotted together to form an equilateral triangle ABC and a weight W is suspended from A. If the triangle and weight to be supported with BC horizontal by means of two strings at B and C as shown in figure, each at an angle of alpha equal to 135 degrees with BC. Find the tension in the string 3. In today's problem, three equal inextensible strings tied together to form an equilateral triangle A, B, C and weight W is attached at A acting downwards and to keep the string BC horizontal, two forces S4 and S5 are acting as shown in figure. Angle between horizontal, this link, uh, this string 3 and this S4 is alpha. Similarly, this is also alpha. Alpha is given 135 degrees. So in this condition, we need to find what is the tension in this string 3. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First, let us see forces and reactions. At point A, weight W is hanging downwards. Because of this weight, this side of the string will experience tension and this side of the string will also experience tension. So, the direction of S1 and S2 are shown uh, away from this point A that represents the tension. Similarly, uh, because of force S4 at B, this string 3 and this string one also experience tension. So the directions shown here and similarly because of S5 also uh, string 3 and string 2 also experience tension and direction is shown here. So since this is an equilateral triangle so all the three angles are 60 degrees. Now let us move this weight and the two reactions at point A to XY plane. So on this XY plane we have weight W acting downwards S1 is acting towards this direction, S2 is acting towards this direction. So since this angle, angle between S1 and S2 is 60 degrees, here also 60 degrees. Since this is 60 degrees and angle between, between S1 and W, similarly angle between S2 and W will become 150 degrees each since it is symmetric. Now let us apply Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem is W by sin 60 equal to S1 by sin 150 that is also equal to S2 by sin 150. So that is written here. So from this second and third term we can see that denominator for uh, this term and this term is same that is sin 150. So S1 will become S1 will be equal to S2. So S1 equal to S2 equal to uh, W into sin 150 by sin 60. So after simplification, we get S1 equal to S2 equal to 0.577 into W. In the previous slide, we have found S1 and S2, but our interest in this problem is to find S3. To find S3, let us see uh, at point B. So at point B, S4 is acting towards this direction and S3 is acting towards this direction and S1 is acting towards this direction. Angle between S3 and S1 is 60 degrees. Angle between S4 and S3 is alpha, alpha is 135 degrees that is given in the problem. Now let us transfer all these forces and reactions to XY plane. So on this XY plane we have S4 shown here, S3 is horizontal and S1 is acting towards this direction. So angle between S3 and S1 is 60 degrees since this is 60 degrees. Angle between S4 and S3 is 135 degrees that is this angle. So now since this is 60 and this is 135, so angle between S4 and S1 will become 360 minus 135 minus 60 that is 165 degrees. Now let us apply Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem is S1 by sin 135 equal to S4 by sin 60 that is also equal to S3 by sin 165. So from this, uh, from first and last terms we can write S3 equal to S1 sin 165 by sin 135. So S1 we already found. So after substituting the values and simplification, we get S3 equal to 0.211 into W. 
that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching